Welcome back to another episode of Housewives Nightcap. Guys, we have the one and only Beverly Hills housewife that is asking all the questions that we so desperately need to know because you know the devil always comes a knocking. So oh. welcome. <laughs> I had to throw that in there because that line was oh, good. Well, it's true. It is he, true. He does. He'll come knocking. Sutton, your fashion this season has been next level. You've stepped it up even from your first, your other season. It was which, already uh, over, so good. Yes. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Good. Do you have that a favorite look? Um, I don't know. No, I like, you know, who knows? I, I grab what's in my closet. So that's it. Like every, But you know what I love? I like when I read, you need to fire your stylist. And I'm like, I am my stylist. I am to blame. I am the only one to blame. I liked everything. It, you know, I, I kind of gained, I gained some weight. So it was tough. Who was, hasn't? I know. Quarantine. Who hasn't? Yeah. Luckily I've lost it, but it was, it was a tough season just to like get into those dresses. I think there was a moment I said, let's hope she zips. And I was being truthful there. I was, you know, fingers crossed. That is so funny. I think, I mean, for me though, that orange jacket during the dinner of hell just Isn't added that good? so many layers because you had the bun, the jacket, and it was so good. It was so good. I love that jacket too. I knew going to that dinner that I sort of needed a little bit of armor. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you you know, always know. Yeah. I kind of knew that this was not going to be a good dinner. So yeah. I, um, I chose that jacket on purpose to kind of feel a bit more empowered well this season has definitely been one like no other we've probably seen in this franchise because erica's legal troubles have really garnered so much attention it's crazy people that don't even watch housewives are paying attention now and you've really been the one holding everybody kind of accountable asking questions why did you kind of feel like you needed to do that um, I think when, when we read the LA Times article and le and I left looking to, I got, I just felt uncomfortable and wanted to kind of get the ladies together to say, is anyone else feeling uncomfortable? Are we going to keep asking questions? Are we going to keep listening to stories like I just didn't know what was what the shakeout was going to be like so I just wanted to ask some questions yeah and like legitimate questions um that I had from reading the article that was that was it it wasn't I wanted to um kind of be factual that yeah. that, that was that was it that was do you think there was some deal. blind loyalty happening yes yeah, that's yeah I agree. which which there should be you know that's that's how friends are and and I get it you know I I don't um I don't think that that's a bad thing right right you know? and then there was another layer to it because we see that you offered Erica money if she needed it so which I by the way is so nice so nice so nice well, to do because you've been through not you've not been through a little scandal like this but you went no, through no. a high pop profile divorce well right and you know this isn't even this is something that I learned when I was going through my divorce and it's something that my attorney told me he said do you have someone that can help you during this time like financially and I said yes and I never needed to go that route but I think all women um, who are going through a divorce they need to have a friend that can help them just have a cushion in case they need it. Um, it's something that I, you know, I hope I can get, have somebody like that in your life. If you are, if you find yourself in this position um, yeah. and that's all that that was, it wasn't, you know, anything else than just like, I, look, I'm here for you. If you need, if you need a cushion to, to fall on. And I would do that for any friend. So a lot has transpired, obviously, by since you did offer her help, and then things happen. And now, where are you two at currently? Are you talking? Have you 
put the past behind you, the threats, where are you guys now? Um, I would say we're not talking. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like she's not talking to anyone really besides Rena. I, well, you would have to ask her because she won't, you know, she's not gonna tell me because we're not talking. Let me tell you, Sutton, watching those episodes where like it gets so intense, like what were you thinking when she was like, really like, she was serious. Oh yeah, you don't want to be on the other side of that finger. Just, I will say that. Um, yeah, I think she, she was very angry with me. Yeah. Very angry with me. And um, it wasn't fun. No. But then, you know, at the same time, I was sort of like, you know, you were all asking, right. You were asking the questions, though, that needed to be asked because no one else was asking it. Yeah. Do you have any regrets, though, with anything that went down with Erica? I guess my biggest regret is that we didn't get to speak one-on-one. -on -one. That, that's my biggest regret. So did you, okay, yeah. so you guys filmed the reunion though. Were you able mm -hmm. to talk, work through things there? I don't know. You're just gonna have to see you little fancy Drew, you. <laughs> what did you think of everyone's looks at the reunion? It, well, I mean, everybody always looks good. Everybody. I mean, it, it, was, um, it was kind of this really nice kaleidoscope of colors. So that was pretty. And I had a, a nice vantage point. I could see everybody. It was good. I loved the blue on you. The strapless blue was a, that was a Thank lot. you. That was good. It it's was very good. stressful. Very I'm sure. Stressful. I mean, I know you're obviously already said that you're not going to give us too much because you know, we have to wait and see, but the reports have been saying that it was a long day and Erica didn't hold back. So is that true? Yes, that's true. It was a long day and Erica spoke a lot. Okay. Yeah. Where are you with all the other women? We know Garcelle and you are really tight. Um, but we saw the whole Elton John thing go down this week with Lisa I Rinna. I can't. You know, I can't, what, what is wrong with me? I know. <laughs> yeah, but wait, love it. it's so I confusing. <laughs> yeah. It's so you, dumb. So what happened? So you were on Watch What Happens Live. You said this yeah. story. Then she goes like on Instagram during commercial break. Where, have you guys talked right. since? We haven't spoken. I, I, when, but I've been a little busy this morning. So yes, she seems kind of not happy with me. Um, you know, but on Watch What Happens Live, I said, I, then it seems like there's some miscommunication. Yeah, but son, I have to ask, Plus, how do, like us normal folk over here, if yeah. I'm going to a table that costs $10,000 a ticket, I know it. I think it was five. I think it's $5,000 a ticket. I think that's what it is. I it's mean, my hard. budget's like 200. So <laughs> table. I can't remember. I've been so many times. I can't remember like which table that was but I think it was five thousand dollars do you do you think she might not have known that you paid she, maybe she didn't know that I paid that's why I said maybe it's a miscommunication okay but that was not the point the point was sometimes people don't say thank you and it's not a big deal it could be for a ten thousand dollar gift I did I never said anything didn't think it was a big deal. Right. A right. jar of bolognese is not a big deal. Come yeah. on. No, I always say if you're going to do something for someone, you have to do it because you want to do it in your heart and not because you're that's expecting right. something. It's not because you're expecting a thank you. Yeah. That it, that's, was more my point. Yeah, I hear that. I was just using that as an example, not because I was mad about it or anything like that. Yeah. I wasn't mad. I wasn't expecting anything. And maybe she, they really didn't know. That is very possible, but they know now. They know now. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you'll get a thank you card. From yeah, Lisa Renna. <laughs> no. I well, know. she's actually, you know, Lisa's so sweet. And I really do. I really do love her so much, but she, she's not happy about this one. She'll, she'll be okay. Hopefully she'll be you okay. guys will come back around. 
Um, do you feel like this season's a little bit about a little bit of you and Garcelle against the world here? Um, it didn't feel like it, but watching it, it seems like it. Um, you know, those girls have known each other a long time and, and they're very tight. So it's hard to break in. I, listen, I, I, have a, I have a really great relationship with Kyle and Dorit. Like we love to hang out and do things too. So, you know, you can't get along with everybody in the same way. Right. Um, I, I, like my relationship with Garcelle is really different than my relationship with Kyle. And I, I, I've been trying to, I'm like, Kyle, Garcelle is so funny. And said, so they're starting to like get each other. And I love that. I like want that part of Garcelle's humor to be seen more we love garcelle she, she's love. a bit guarded she yeah no and then in this past episode though the way that what transpired at that dinner and she was being so open it was good i think it was a really teachable moment for so many people to see absolutely absolutely yeah. i'm so proud of her not in that kind of way but she's just she does it in such an elegant way she is elegant though she really is she is she and you is. know, everyone She's is saying that the two of you are like the best housewives ever. And everyone is so, so, so invested this season, especially because of Erica. So I do want to ask. Um, I'm invested. I think the show is so good. I watch it like. So good. I know it's been such a good one. It's so good. But you're adding, you though are adding so much to it because I don't think any other woman on the show would have questioned Erica the way that you are. No way. Maybe well, Garcelle. You know, yeah, Garcelle. Garcelle will question anybody. She's not scared. Yeah. You know, I think because um, I don't know Erica that well, it was easier for me to do that. Yeah. Got it. You know, this new video just came out of Tom saying that he does believe Erica knew about the scandal and his legal woes. Wanted to get your reaction on that. Wow. <sighs> I mean, I don't know. Did you see the video? I saw it. My assistant, Josh, showed it to me yesterday. I mean, he just looks so frail. Yeah. You know, that was more my reaction. Like, wow. In, in the course of, it'll be now almost two years when I met him. Um, wow. How life has taken its toll on this man. Mm. So I don't know. Because after all of this after I mean obviously you guys filmed the reunion already do you believe Erica or do you not well I think we kind of know my stance on this one yeah. not so, much has changed so I was gonna say not much has changed though no no all right no. reunion though I know you really can't tell us much but if you could describe it in one word what would that one word be long it was a long, it was a long day. They're always long days. They're always like 10 plus hours. I know, but this one was especially long. It was a lot of, there weren't a lot of breaks and it was a lot of discussion um, and like very serious discussion. 